Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to our channel. It's Taylor. Today we're gonna be doing a empties video. Yeah, like I haven't done one in a couple months, so I have a whole bag full of products and let's get into it. Let's start with a repeat product. The first thing we have is the TGIN Honey Miracle Hair Mask. I have the 32 ounce one. I think this is the biggest size that you can get. This is my favorite hair mask. This was like $40, but it lasted me like a whole year. Or like a little over a year, so I think the value was worth it. Um, with this, like my hair is very defined and moisturized and super shiny, so I've been using this for a couple years now. I love this. I think I have a another size in here. But yeah, this is an always repeat product for me. Next up, we have the CeraVe Renewing SA Cleanser, another repeat product for me. This is the eight ounce one. I usually buy this 16 ounce one, but this is my favorite cleanser. If you have dry skin, I think you really like this. I have dry skin, that's why. Yeah, it's my go-to face wash. I might have said moisturizer. It's a it's a face wash. Next up, we have the Good Molecules Hyaluronic Acid Serum, another repeat product for me. That's part of my daily skincare routine. I mostly use it at night, but I'm using it in the morning too when I'm putting on makeup to help prep my skin, and I really, and I really like it. Too. For that too. Next up we have the Vita something. I don't know how to say it. Electrolyte watermelon face mask. This will smell like oh it does kind of. It smells like the watermelon candies with like the tahina stuff on it. That's the, yeah. Yeah, that's what it smells like. Or like a watermelon gummy. Anywho. Uh, I got this in my Walmart beauty box. I think it's a K beauty. Yeah, it's a K beauty brand, and um, I like this a lot. It was very hydrating. It smells good. Also, the sheet mask is biodegradable. So, yeah, I like it. I do want to buy some more. I forgot that I had this. I should go pick up some more. Next up, we have the peach slices nose pore strips, pore patches. I got these from Ulta, but they like on the front um i did like these i have dry skin so i feel like when i use pore strips and everything not a lot comes out i swell on these they're not like super tight but i couldn't sleep in them really because they're kind of uncomfortable to sleep in or maybe i'm like i'm like anything on my face when i sleep maybe that's why but they were okay would i buy them again sorry about the truck would I buy them again? Maybe. I think it did like help clear all the gunk and stuff out of my nose, but I don't know. I will give them another try, maybe. These are like an in-between. Eh. Next up we have the Camille Rose Rosemary Oil. This is not empty. I still have this. Um, I have to transfer it to another bottle because this bottle leaks. I don't like how it gets everywhere. It has rosemary and tea tree oil. It's very strong. I don't know if it's hydrating my scalp. Um, I always use two to three drops. Maybe I'm using too much. I don't know. Would I repurchase? I don't know yet. I'm going to use the recommended two to three drops and then get back to you guys. But I don't know. I don't think I would repurchase it. Next up for a product by Kimo Rose, I actually do like it. This is the Rosemary Water, the Daily Strength Strengthening Mist. I had a ball spot in my, like, right here from like friction um i use this like every day for like a month or two months and it did help speed up the process of my hair growing back i also use this like throughout my hair to see if it help it grow faster i haven't straightened my hair not fully <laughs> um to see if that worked i have to see there's another truck going by i'm so sorry but yeah um will i buy another one of these guests it's literally sitting in my auto cart right now so this I really do like and I will continue to repurchase and reuse it. Next up we have a lotion. This is the Jergens Oil Infused Enriching Shea Butter Lotion. I was looking for a new lotion because like all the lotions I use, they don't hydrate my skin. I used to use Jergens a lot back like middle school, high school. Wow, that's that's making me sound old. I, I promise I'm not that old. Yeah, that lotion, I'm on my second bottle of it. So I do like it. That one actually feel like my skin is hydrated. If I don't use it for a couple days, when I go back to using it, it still feels really good on my skin. 
like it's not too sticky, not too heavy. I'm also using the Vaseline brand one. I like that one because I feel like it's more serum-y. It's not as thick as this one, but it's not as hydrating. So we'll see. But so far, I do I really do like the Jergens. I bet you can't tell what my favorite moisturizer is. I bet you can't tell. This is the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Face Moisturizer. As you can tell, I have four. I actually have five. I have another one that I'm currently using. I like this one. If you like the cream, but it's a little too thick for you, you'll really like this one. This is my moisturizer that I use every single day. I use it at night. I use it before I put on makeup to help prep my skin. It's just really good at hydrating and... I don't know, I just really like it. Someone mentioned recently, I was watching a video, they said how the smell smells like someone threw up and I agree. And now every time that I smell it, that's what I think of. Cause it does. So first aid beauty, if you're somehow watching this, please work on the smell. It's not that strong, but now that I'm aware of it, that's what I think about and I can smell it. So besides the smell, it's okay. Also, please make a bigger size. This is like $28. I feel like I go through it like a month, month and a half. Please make a bigger size if there's not already a bigger size out. Next up, we have the Shea Moisture 100% Jamaican Black Castor Oil. It's like my second or third bottle. I haven't been using it in the past like two or three months because I haven't had any. Like it hasn't made a difference. I do think this helped my hair grow a little bit though. I just haven't been using it. Would I repurchase it? Maybe. Maybe I should. I don't know. I forgot I've been using the I've been using the rosemary water. I feel like maybe that's why. But I will repurchase it just to see. Yes, I do like it. I just haven't been using it. Next up, I have a little sample of the Avino Daily Moisturizing Body Lotion. The, wow, the truck. It was a van. This was nothing special. Like it didn't really do much. Yes, I. It was not enough to really like tested but I used it like three times maybe four um yeah I used it like three or four times it was okay I wouldn't repurchase it I don't think I would repurchase it maybe different like scent or different like not different flavor a different type a different scent I would probably re repurchase so if you guys are wondering about my lip color is from our brand Mulan Rose Cosmetics. I'm wearing the shade, it's you as glam, it's you as glam gloss in the shade Vampire Kisses. If you guys are interested, I'll post a little picture right here. Yeah, it'll be linked down below. Also another repeat product for me, these are the Cosrx Acne Pimple Master Patch. I like to get mine on Yes All. I find those, they have the best deal there. They look like, we all know what they look like. These are my favorite pimple patches and yeah, I see why they're so hyped. They're great. I love them. Next up, we have the e.l.f. Lip Scrub. I have mine in the shade flavor brown sugar. That's what it looks like. The scent. This is pretty old, so it smells kind of bad. Um, like it did what it had to do. I would not repurchase this. I didn't like it before they reformulated. It's better now. I still wouldn't repurchase it. I hope like there's better lip scrubs out there and you can make your own lip scrubs. We might be coming out with some lip scrubs eventually. But yeah, I just feel like there's better lip scrubs out there on the market. For the, for the same price. So. Next up we have the Dove Rich Nourishment Cream. Um, Did not like this. Did not feel good on the skin. Would not repurchase this. And I got this from Dollar Tree. And I want my dollar twenty-five back. It was no, never again. Next up, we have the next bear with me spray. You can use it to prime, set, and refresh. Um, I like this more as a refresher spray, not as a setting spray. I don't think it helped with the longevity of my makeup at all. But also, like my makeup wasn't melting off my face. Um, what this last with heavy makeup during summer? Maybe not. You will have to definitely touch up more, but. What I repurchase? Yes. I like this in between steps. Actually, I might repurchase this. Yeah, as a setting spray, no. As a refresher spray, yes. Next up, we have the Kiss Strip Lash Adhesive, my favorite lash glue. I think the one I have, the one I'm currently using, is kind of old because my lashes aren't sticking as well. So I feel like I might need to repurchase. But yeah, this is like $5, my favorite lash glue. It does what it needs to do, and it's affordable. 
Next up we have the Elf Hydrating Camel Concealer. I have mine in the shade which Coco. It's like my second or third tube. I have another one currently in my cart. It doesn't really look empty, but I scraped as much as I could scrape out. This is my favorite concealer. Um, it's a little more it has a little more coverage than the ColourPop Pretty Fresh concealer, the one I'm using now. So if I need a little, little more coverage, then I use this one. Yeah, it's only like six bucks, affordable, and it does the job. Last but not least, we have these two Vaseline lip balms. This one is the original one. This is the Aloe Vera. No. Would not repurchase these. They didn't do anything. It made my lips feel worse after using these, so would not repurchase these ever again. No. So guys, that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys are interested in our makeup brand, Malay Rose Cosmetics, it will be linked down below. If you guys want to shop any of the products, I'll link as many as I can below. That's all for the video and...